Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a super fun look. I'm super excited to show you. It's really great for St. Patty's Day or just like a really cool pop of color. I'm going to prime my eyes with the Tarte Shape Tape. I have done that already. And I'm going to take this Wet n Wild palette, this is new, called Rosé in the Air, and taking these two transition shades um, and popping that in the crease. One is like a cool toned brown and then one's like a warm colored brown. And I just mix those together and I'm gonna blend that really well into my crease. Okay, next I'm taking a small flat synthetic brush. I'm going to wet it with the Mario, one of the Mario Badescu sprays I have. You can also use MAC Fi Fix Plus, whatever you have around. And I'm going in with this ColourPop palette uh, through my eyes. This is one of the new palettes I got. And I'm going in with the color Lucido, I think it's called. And it is the lightest, like, shimmery shade. It's almost like a gold shimmer. Um, and I'm going to pop that on the inner corner of my eye and take it um, like just past the middle of my eye. Okay, next, my tried and true uh, Nubian palette. I'm gonna take those two darkest colors at the bottom of the palette. One is slightly shimmery, one is matte. Um, and I'm going to take this fluffy angled brush and just pop that into the outer V slightly into the crease. Just to deepen up the look, give it more dimension. Okay, next I'm just taking this orangey shade from the Urban Decay Ultimate Basics palette and I'm going to go into my crease with that with like a really dense crease brush um, and bounce that back and forth really well over, that tra over the transition shade. So always make sure you blend. So I'm just going to take a very fluffy brush. This was the brush that I used for those two transition shades in the very beginning. So I'm just kind of taking what's left over and just making sure there's no harsh lines. Everything is blended perfectly. Next, I'm going to line my eyes with this Clinique um, liquid pen in black. And I'm just going to do like a very thin line at the base of my lashes. I'm not gonna wing it out, nothing crazy. Okay, I'm going back into the Wet n Wild palette, just taking the very lightest shade, um, your typical light shade to pop under the brow bone, and that is where I'm going to take it. Once my eyeliner is dried, I'm going to just take a basic black color and go over my eyeliner with that. I just like doing this for staying power. And then I also don't like a harsh eyeliner line, so I go over it just to kind of smooth that line between my liner and my eyeshadows. Okay. 
Okay, next, I'm going back to the ColourPop through my eyes palette, taking this green shade, I believe it is emerald. So pretty, so gorgeous. Very glittery, so there is some um, kickback, there is some fallout, so I would recommend doing your face makeup after you use this shade. As you can see, I don't have any on now. I was kind of expecting um, a little bit of a mess applying it, especially to my lower lash line. So I wet this really flat, straight-lined liner brush, and I am popping that on my lash line. Um, I used the Mar Mario Badescu spray. I don't know why I reached for it, <laughs> so I went back. Reach for my MAC Fix Plus. Um, it, it's just, it's more wetter. It's more what? Wetter? It's more wet. <laughs> but then there's also some staying power with it as well. Um, and it applied so much better with the MAC Fix Plus. And I was getting like some glitter in my eye. It is really chunky. It's so pretty, so worth it. But just be careful as you are applying it. Okay, next I'm taking this um, Clinique black eyeliner. This is the uh, pencil, crayon, pencil, crayon, pencil version. I used the liquid one before. I feel like this one's better for um, the waterline. Oh my God, I couldn't think of it. <laughs> Your waterline. Then I'm going in with this highlighter palette from Flower Beauty. I'm taking the gold shade. These highlighters are so underrated. They are absolutely amazing. So I'm taking this gold color and I'm gonna pop that on the inner corner of my eye. Next, I'm going to do lashes. So I use two different eyelash curlers. One really curls them, that is this one. And then the other one I use just kind of gives them a little lift, a little oomph, because my natural lashes kind of go downwards. So they need a little extra work. Um, so I do those and then I go in with a lash primer. This time I'm using the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. Um, it's like a pinky color, not like the usual white ones. Um, the other one I use is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. I love that one, that's my favorite, but I just decided to use this one today. And then I'm actually going in with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara I am trying, just recently purchased. And I have literally only used it once or twice. I am really undecided about it. I am not sure. I really wanna do a comparison between this and like the Lash Paradise because the brushes are almost the same but feel like I get more length with the CoverGirl, but get crazy volume with the Lash Paradise. So I'm gonna try and do a video for that. My lower lashes, I use the L'Oreal Telescopic. I love how thin the brushes. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lashes with that. So I always do multiple coats, so I'm going in with the second coat of the CoverGirl Exhibitionist, and then you'll see that I'm going to use a pencil um, to separate any lashes that kind of got clumped together, and then I will also clean up with a Q-tip. Another thing about this mascara, it seems kind of messy, so I had to do a little bit of fixing and cleaning up.
Okay, I finished the rest of my face. This is how the look turned out. I absolutely love it. It's a little different for me, adding a pop of color. I love that ColourPop palette. Definitely gonna be doing more looks with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Be safe, be responsible, like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.